Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today it's a fun marble background done with stamping blend, so that's an alcohol marker. And we're going to use a needle applique. So these are those tiny little bottles I find on Amazon. With It's a needle um, applique. We're going to put 91% alcohol in that. This, I was inspired by um, BC Wright, if I remember correctly. So we're going to get started. Uh, I emboss at the top, and you can emboss first or after, it doesn't matter, but um, I emboss first, speed up the process here, and it's embossed with copper. I use the stamp set just because, uh, I mean, after the storm for just because, and this one, it's color and contour. This flower here, it is Tasteful Touch. I use that flower, and, oops, sorry, and then this one, it's end pen petal, I use this one and this one it's embossed with black and it's not finished so I'm going to show you how to do from the start to the finish except I already embossed and this is on vellum cardstock now the side that you're going to emboss it's the other side that you're going to put your stamping blend and it's a reason for that and I will explain when we're there but I got my sample here I am using the natural, uh, uh, new, natural stamping blend. These are new since uh, March with stamping up, uh, February stamping up release them. So right now I'm going to use the 100, 600, 400, 300. So you can ma uh, mix them. These though, this was uh, soft suede, the dark. Uh, then ivory in this one and bronze so you can use the other color too the darker the better really so I'm going to use start with I call it it's the hundred I just put a one so we're going to say one just add the zero at the end and remember the the emboss go face down or you can emboss after I'm just doing um, scribble I'm not doing any particular uh, shape okay I know uh, some of um, she done in circle it kind of looked like flower and so on and um, I'm just doing different shape here and you can leave some open space that's perfectly fine you don't have to cover the entire um, part is just I like to have variation in my color and see I can go right on top of the other one too if I want to add more color here and there so the neutral um, color what I like you get all those variation of uh, skin tone or tone I which should say skin tone really and I love that about it so I like to sometimes just to wiggle around here we go. So we're going to keep it that way. Now, if you got a holder uh, embossing a tool, it's just one speed on that. And I had a problem with that. That's when I did my flowers. I'm going to attach it at the end of this. It shoot everywhere. So this one here got two speeds. So we want it to have on the low speed. I find it much friendlier for this. Now, and we're going to go ahead and this, like I said, we put the 91% alcohol. I'm going to add some just around here and there. And then I'm going to come back. I'd rather come back than too much, okay? So now I'm going to take this and then we just push that around that's it so <clears throat> here oh I, it looked like I got a pair of glasses there and 
and then if it's some place you don't like, it's okay. You can come back and add more. When I get dots like this, I just come and dab it with a paper towel. Oh, th there I took too much off, really. Now I'm going to... And then remember, you can always add more ink also. If you're done and you're like, oh, I feel I don't, my e tool don't go far enough here. It's not enough. You can always come back and add more ink with your blend. Absolutely. And let me just say, it looked kind of weird at the beginning, but as it, when you're going to turn it, you're going to see it's very different. So now I'm just going to check that with a white cardstock in the back of it. Oh, right here I see that I need to mix this a bit here. I, I don't like to have just the blend showing. Like I like to have that marble all around. Whoops. And you can see if your e-tool is too powerful, it would move the... I need to move this bit more over here because my um, cord is not long enough from my outlet here. Okay, let's see. And now after that, I don't have no more drip. You know, it's not dripping anymore. I can go on my speeder speed here and really finish drying that up. I don't want those little dots, so I'm going to remove them. And, okay, let's see how that works. I bet you're going to say, what a fiasco, right? Well, one minute. I got my dirty one here that I try. Boom. Is that amazing? The marble after you get that, I think it's just wicked cool. And when you look at it this way, you're going to say, what the heck am I supposed to do with that, right? It's just amazing. So now, how did I get my flower completely white? Okay, here's what I discover. I thought I'm going to clean from the top. So let me, we need more alcohol here. Not tequila, my friend, just this 91% uh, alcohol we just need a little bit and then we need I like to use a q-tips you can use maybe a brush I like to use a q-tip so what happened when I did because I embossed the top here what happened when I came to pull my ink from the top I don't know if you can see but where it touched my embossing and it was hard not to touch the embossing in a detailed stamp like that it made my embossing very flat. It don't have that metal look to it anymore. It's matte. And the same with the black. Just get The black was not as bad, but it still get kind of matte finish. It's not that shiny uh, part. So that's when I said, okay, what I'm going to do is emboss the front of it. And then do the back of it. So now you can look through this. And it's better if you keep it on a scrap white there. And dip this. You don't want to know that the Q-tips don't drip. And then you're just going to remove the color in the back where your flower is. So And <clears throat> I want to make sure that your Q-tips, if it gets too much dirty, your Q-tips, use a new one. So I don't want it to run, so you don't want too much on the Q-tips, but see how it go. It's, um, it's just move the ink, so you want to have one that it's clean. Put it that way. Here we go. Now I'm going to go back here. Another thing you can do is take your paper towel and dab it too. I think that's even easier. So now I would go right here and then over here my little do that there. Okay, then I'm going to tap this. 
That worked very lovely. You know what? Instead of two Q-tips, just take a paper towel that it's clean and dab it. And here I'm just going to do a little bit in my leaf. And then I'm going to dab that. That worked wonderful. Okay, dabbing, it's the trick. See, the more you do, the more trick you find as you go. So now that I get this, it's going to look when you turn that around. Is that wicked, the difference? Now, I don't want to put glue there right away. So let me share with you the other one. We're going to put glue by the time we're done. But I want to share the one with the black. That I would do the same thing, okay? I won't finish it all because I don't want you to wait the whole time. But see, I would do the same thing. And uh, this one, it's going to get mounted on a black, uh, not a black, I'm sorry, on a very vanilla. That's what I'm going to mount this one on a very vanilla. And it's a completely different look because... You know, it's a little bit more yellow, the vanilla. So it make it even more antique-ish, I think. So let me show you. So we just got one done here. So you're going to see how that's going to look. See the difference? So see white and then the vanilla. So I will have this card all finished. It's going to be on my blog with all the other one. Right below you get the direct link. Now... I bet you're wondering, okay, how are we going to mount that? It's vellum, right? Vellum, it's a little bit more trickier to mount. Oh, that's the dirty one. So, I got a piece of cardstock here, uh, white. And then, for when it comes to uh, vellum, I like to use a sponge. And let me grab my silicone mat here. Oops. Here we go. Now we're going to take our silicone mat and my base, it's a little bit bigger. So never mind that. So, oops, it's going to get glued this way. And the, I find it easier when it's bigger. So usually I would put the glue in the back of the villain. This time I'm putting the glue here. And I don't want to take my glue and wipe it on it. It makes too much. So I'm going to, oops. You don't want those chunky chunk. So I'm going to start with this. Oh, I think it's time. So I'm just adding some glue here. But I can. you cannot leave it like that because that's going to show through the vellum. Okay? So take a sponge and wipe it all. So it's just a very light, did I say very light, coat of glue you get on it that it's all smooth. Then you're going to take, come back here, you're going to take your vellum and smack it right at the top of this. My because was cricket a little bit and I'm going to fix that. Oh, well, I guess it's going this way. So now it is done. We're going to press that from the back. Always press from the back. So the reason why I start with a bigger piece of um, vellum, because then you can move it around a bit. So you can bring it on your uh, trimmer here and trim that. And I can go even a little bit closer. Or you can take your scissors and cut from the back. Now that I know this is straight there. I'm going to go here. And then I just go around and trim that paper. I find it a lot easier to put a bigger piece of vellum to the cardstock than adding the perfect size at the beginning. I, that was a little bit tricky. Now this going to get mounted on a early espresso. And then I got my card base right here. That's not the one. And I stamp inside the flower. It's stamped with um, soft suede. Et voila. And then I can add those jewel. I use the champagne jewel that's going to be perfect. And I will add some to this. I think it adds so much value.
here it is so all this is with the copper embossing and then I will have the black on vanilla done also all the measurement all the supplies that I use will be listed on my blog right below you get the direct link and you can order it 24 7 all in the US thank you all that support my business that's what keep me going until next time happy stamping my friend bye bye for now